live on show poke. Got it with clean on show mode. My life a whole movie. I don't shoot no demos. I love the haters. They do the best promo. Ain't holding back on my fist on these bimbos. Just had a rack attack. I don't went logo. P89. I just bought a extendo. How to make a rifle rest bag. The only materials that you'll need for this is a pair of socks and some six millimeter BBs, corn, rice, anything of that, that nature that you can put into a sock that won't get through the holes in the sock. First things first, we wanna unroll one of our socks and you just wanna roll it down. All right, roll it all the way down to about the core of it and what you don't want to do is try to pour bb's directly into the sock um it's going to end up with bb's everywhere so uh i'll show you that method first and then we'll switch over to uh what's the right way to do it so let's take a look it's not what we want to do all right here's the right way you want to take your sock you want to roll it over the cup all right that way you got to Steady platform to uh, pour those BBs in. We're gonna take our BBs, we're gonna pour them straight in there. Fill it all the way up. All right, fill it all the way up to the top and we're gonna roll the sock down some more. And then we're gonna repeat this process until we make this sock approximately uh, the size of a grapefruit. What are the reasons you may need a rifle rest bag? All right, I can tell you this, doing marksman work it's hardly ever a situation that's perfect enough for you to use your bipods. So being mobile, being on the move, it allows you to take your rifle rest bag, lay it down on a hard contact surface and make that hard contact surface a soft contact surface to lay your rifle on top. Another reason you'd want a rifle rest bag and probably the more primary reason is to go under the stock of your rifle, all right? so. With the bag being under stock of your rifle, it gives you the ability to make minute adjustments by just squeezing your hand and uh, being able to change the elevation of your sight. I'll have a demonstration of that later on in the video, but for right now, we're gonna get back to making our rifle rest bag. All right, once I've got the rifle rest bag approximately to the size that I want it, so like I said, about the size of a grapefruit is fine. Here, I'm gonna add probably a little bit more because I just want a, a bigger rifle rest bag. Uh, in, in, in urban environments, you tend to probably want a little bit more just to uh, fill in the gaps of those hard surfaces uh, when, you, when you set your rifle on it. So adding a little bit more right here. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna squeeze it all the way down and we're gonna knot it off right here. It's a simple knot. Nothing fancy, nothing complicated. And we're gonna take it and we're gonna fold our sock back down and over. And it's almost like double bagging it. And now we got a rifle rest bag. So like I said, first use case scenario for it is to put it under the stock of your rifle. And uh, here you can see me putting it under the stock of my rifle. And it makes it a, a, a better shooting platform. And you don't constantly have to hold your rifle right there and it allows you to make the minute adjustments like i said before with just squeezing the palm of your hand so those are the use cases for a rifle rest bag if you feel the need for one hopefully you've learned something from this video please remember to like share subscribe all that stuff helps my channel out and i appreciate you guys for tuning in man it's Jay from 382 Tactical. Make sure you get out and train. Lost connection to everybody, I feel wildest. As soon as you stand on the stand up for something, you wildin'. Lost it a long time ago, don't know what my mind is. Send me a DM under my business line when you find it. Take it high, go, you cheated, and you spy.